Hey everybody, Jimmy Mihal here. Welcome back to another Steam Sunday. Now, I don't know if you know, but I love this game called Binding of Isaac. Or, yeah, The Binding of Isaac. Anyways, it's a really awesome game. It's on Steam, it's not very expensive, and it's probably one of the best games I've played on my computer. I have I have over 70 hours in it, actually. It's really, really fun. Um, but anyways, the creator of this created this game. This is actually, his, I think, his first published game. Not the first game he made, but his first published game. I've never played it, so let's start. New player. Okay, well, I'll just type my name here. Let's create. All right, his new game. Gish isn't your average hero. In fact, he's not your average anything. See, Gish is a ball of tar. Well, on a Sunday stroll with his lady friend, Bria. A shadow, a shadow, a shadowy figure emerged from, op from an open manhole, pulling her away and into the ground below. Quickly, Gish jumps into action. Following Bree's calls for help, suddenly Gish finds himself in the subterranean sewers of Dros, a long-forgotten city filled with twisting corridors, sadistic traps, and some of the most demented creatures imaginable. Life isn't easy when you are not able to read as fast as you need to. Oh yeah, you can even tell by the artwork it's from the same creator of, of uh, Binding of Isaac. Now let's see here. Move, pretty obvious. Jump to space. What a jump. A is stick, S, D is heavy, and S is slide. Whatever those things do. I want to press S to what? To slide? Okay. Because it makes you slippery or something. Uh, also, Gish is actually a boss in um, The Binding of Isaac, so... Cool, right? Yeah. I guess I should hold S to slide. What was sticky again? A? Can I press A and S? A and S? No. Oh, oh well. Let's try to jump up here and stick. There we go. Look at that. Jumping's a little weird in this. Oh, I think you have to bounce him. You do have to bounce him. Here we go. A platforming genius. So the music ain't bad in this. Um, pretty good. You can hear it jamming in the background. I wouldn't call it the best music. But it's pretty good. Uh, so far the gameplay is okay. It, it, I will say it's kind of hard to get used to it. You can't tell because I'm a genius, but... The reason why I say it's hard to get used to it is because uh, you have to get used to the button layout, I guess, is probably the most challenging part so far for me. Uh, complete. And I guess he's, those are those little coin looking things is this amber stuff you can collect I got no secrets and uh, hey, we're good let's go to the next level I'll show off a couple levels why not it's not a bad game what's this thing is it a switch is it just trying to keep me away I think it's a switch. So I'm guessing we probably have to jump up there with our bouncing technique. I'm not very good at that bouncing thing, am I? Yeah, that's the only way you can do it, is to bounce, so... Let's watch me fail. Or not fail. There we go. Yeah, see? And there's the amber stuff. Top right. I'll point it with my mouse. I can't see my mouse. Okay, well, it's over there. Uh, 
There we go. Do some climbing. I don't think the water kills you. It's just, I guess, an obstacle. Oh, a rock. I pushed it. Thanks, rock. I'm on the roof now. The music's actually quite fitting. I like it. Definitely went with that. What's this thing? I press D to make myself heavy and kill him. S. There's gotta be a secret down there. I don't know. I gotta get back up there, I guess. Let's try this. Bouncy jump thing. You can't touch, be touching two surfaces when you're sticky or else you won't move. Let's try this one more time. What am I saying one more time? Let's just try this until we get up there. I would be getting frustrated right now if it wasn't for the jam and music. Oh, that was too close. No gish. No! Let's try it this way instead. The jumping... I don't know. I understand the mechanics of it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Sure, once you get used to it, it's probably better. But come on, I don't have to get used to anything. Oh, I they do really well. Pull the switch. Keep sticking. Get up there. Yeah, gish. I don't know what these points are for. Let's break this one. I guess you can't break those though. Maybe that has to do with the secrets. You just walk into the blocks or something. I really don't know. Uh oh. Yeah, sticky. Let's go up here. Alright. Slide down the hole. Oh, complete. So levels aren't too, too long either. Alright. Let's go back. Check the first couple levels out. That's pretty fun. I don't know how much it is. I got it when it was on a Steam sale. It wasn't that long ago either. I'd say if you can try a demo, try it out. It's not terrible. It's pretty good. Oh, there's custom levels. You can practice. New game. Collection game. What the hell's a collection game? Oh. Well, I don't want to do this. So I think there's enough content to, to merit a purchase. I'd say try it out. It's definitely worth your time. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all again next Sunday.